the work from home jobs that you can do at night tier list. That's right, we are gonna be going over a bunch of different options for jobs that you can do at night. So if you're the type of person who likes to work at night, you're a night owl, and you want a remote job, this is going to be the perfect video for you. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos and you want me to do them again in the future, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with the first one on the list, which is going to be an expedite track and trace specialist. So this is a position where you ensure the smooth movement of shipments by utilizing technology to track and guarantee timely delivery. So some reasons this is really good for a nighttime job are first, it pays pretty well. Second, it's very easy to get into. Third, logistics is incredibly important and it's going to be for the foreseeable future. And fourth, there's lots of opportunities for this job at night. Because think about it, shipments are always moving at night and even the shipments that move during the day are usually planned for at night. So there's tons of opportunity here. In this position, you'd make about 46 to $67,000 a year. So this one is pretty good. It's also really easy to get into. Into, and there's upper level positions that you can very easily move into once you have some experience. So I'm going to put this one into A tier. Next is going to be a foreign language video remote interpreter. So this is where you're basically going to be interpreting, but on virtual platforms. So for instance, you may be interpreting between Mandarin Chinese and English. And as you can imagine, a lot of this business is going to be happening in the middle of the night in the United States, because that is going to be daytime in China, for instance. Now the pay is going to range between 50 and 78 $8,000 a year. Of course, you do have to be fluent in multiple different languages for this to work for you. But if you are fluent, this is going to be a great opportunity. So I'm a little torn on this one uh, between C tier and B tier. But I think since it's the beginning of the list, I'm gonna be nice and put it into B tier. But of course, you know, there are some requirements for you to get into it. Next is going to be an overnight travel concierge. So this position involves curating and organizing detailed travel plans, orchestrating dream getaways, and ensuring seamless travel experiences for clients. And oftentimes you will be working for corporate clients. So corporations will send people to business conventions or send people to do business with other companies. And you wanna make sure that those people have a good time. In some cases, they'll actually be paying for people from another company to do it as well. So as the host, you want to make sure that they have a good time as well. And as you can imagine, if they're traveling to another country to do business, they're going to need an overnight concierge to take care of them. And in this position, you'd expect to make between thirty-six dollars and $57,000 a year. So this is another really good one, very easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience typically. I'm a little bit torn between putting this one in C tier or B tier, but I think I'm going to put it in high C tier. Next is going to be a fraud specialist. And this is someone who investigates and in some cases prevents fraudulent activities in various industries. And they do this by analyzing data, identifying patterns, and using software to detect and prevent fraudulent transactions. Now, as you can imagine, cyber criminals will often do their dirty work during the middle of the night. And so many companies will hire lots of different fraud specialists that work in the middle of the night. Now with this one, it's a little bit harder to get hired with no college degree or previous experience. You still can do it though. There's different certifications that you can take like the CFE for instance, but you do get paid about four to $59,000 a year. Plus, this is a great way to get in a position where you can get into even higher level jobs. There's lots of opportunities in the cybersecurity industry, for instance. So you could start off with this, then you take a bunch of different tech related certifications and move into cybersecurity where you can get into jobs where you're making 100, even 200,000 plus dollars a year. So overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. By the way, comment down below if there are certain careers you like or there's ones that you thought I should have covered in this video, and I will very very likely covered in a future video. Next is going to be an IRA agent. And I really like this one. Um, it's just a cool example of what is possible with modern technology. And IRA agents are basically visual interpreters for people who are blind or people who have vision impairment. And basically there's several different ways they can do it. One way is they actually use Google Glass type technology where the person who has vision impairment will wear glasses that have a camera attached to it, right? And this camera basically live streams everything Thing that they're seeing. And then they will be on a call with the IRA agent and the IRA agent will describe to them what they're looking at. So this could be something like signing up for insurance or ordering some type of product online or any number of other tasks that we take for granted in our day-to-day -day activities, but are much harder for visually 
impaired people to complete. Now, according to Glassdoor, IRA agents make about $86,000 a year. According to reports online, it's gonna be less than that. But there's lots of opportunities for this type of role out there, and they do have different names. So yeah, I really like this one. I also just think it's cool in general that they're able to do this for people. I'm gonna put this one into S tier. And they're relatively easy to get into. A lot of the time, they don't require a college degree or previous experience. In many cases, they require certification or training, but a lot of the time, the company will actually provide that for you. Next is going to be a front end engineer. So this is gonna be a type of software developer. And specifically, this would be a software developer that's working in the middle of the night. So obviously, companies are going to be hiring these types of people to work in the middle of the night, because that means they're gonna be able to develop a product twice as fast. And in the competitive world of the technology industry, being able to develop a product twice as fast gives you a massive competitive advantage. And according to Glassdoor, front-end engineers make about $109,000 a year. So I don't think I need to go into detail on this one. It's probably one of the most well-known careers out there. It used to be a lot easier to get into this than it is now, but it's still relatively easy. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. However, you do need to know your stuff. And the way that you can prove that you actually have the skills that you say you have is by having a great portfolio. So I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into S tier. By the way, if you want to break into the tech industry in probably the easiest way possible, because let's be honest, breaking straight into a front-end engineer job can be very difficult, I highly recommend the company Course Careers. And one of the easiest positions to break in with is going to be a tech sales position also known as a business development representative. Now, I've interviewed a bunch of different people on this channel that have been able to break into this role without a college degree or previous experience. And it's actually a really high paying role. A lot of the time people are making over $70,000 a year in their first year. And down the line, there's lots of opportunities for much higher paying roles than that. For instance, I interviewed Antoine Wade on this channel who started off in tech sales at a low level, and now he makes over $500,000 a year. So if you're interested in taking some free training from Course Careers on tech sales to see if it's for you and see what exactly it's all about, I'm gonna put that free training down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, and you can click those links to check it out. Next is going to be an overnight intake specialist. So you could be working in several different industries in this one. The most common ones are going to be legal and medical. And I'm going to go ahead and focus on the legal industry. And basically what you're going to be doing is gathering crucial information on potential legal cases, evaluating injuries, damages, and insurance coverage to assess the case's validity. And as you can imagine, a lot of the time people are going to be calling about these things in the middle of the night. So if they get in a car accident, for instance, during the day, they might call a law firm in the middle of the night. So you have to have people that are ready to take that information down. And and that's where the overnight intake specialist comes in. So this one isn't super high earning. It's about $44,000 a year, but it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, and it requires limited training, and a lot of the time the company will train you themselves. So it's a pretty solid one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is going to be a care champion. And this is basically someone who offers vital support and assistance, often in customer service or healthcare, during nighttime hours, ensuring everything runs smoothly while other people sleep. So obviously, if someone is having some sort of health related issue in the middle of the night, a lot of the time they're not going to be able to wait until the next day in order to get helped. And that's where the care champion comes in. This is kind of a customer service related job, but specifically for the healthcare industry. And it makes more than the average customer service job at about $57,000 a year. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of opportunities for nighttime work. So this is a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and put it into B tier. And by the way, I just realized I have have like 50 of these to go through. So I'm not going to be able to spend too much time on each of them. So I'm going to start speeding up. Next on the list is going to be a health navigator. This is a position where you're going to be guiding individuals through the complexities of the healthcare system, aiding in accessing resources and information for better health outcomes. Now, this one is especially good in the United States, of course, because our healthcare system is an absolute mess here. And as you can imagine, there's going to be a lot of opportunities at night because again, people do have these types of issues that pop up in the middle of the night and they can't just wait until the next day. So in this position, you'd make about $54,000 a year. It's relatively easy to get into, usually doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is going to be a subject matter expert. And there's so many different industries that you could work in with this career, but one of them is going to be the automotive industry. And basically what you would be doing is you would be an 
expert in the automotive realm and you'd provide essential support and consultation to dealerships while utilizing your experience to enhance dealership operations remotely. So you'd usually be a specialist on a particular brand of car, maybe Subarus for instance, and they would contact you whenever they had some type of question. And oftentimes people may have some type of automotive issue that needs to be taken care of in the middle of the night. And oftentimes these dealerships will hire people to work on cars in the middle of the night. So someone needs to be on call to answer those questions. And in this position, you'd make about $79,000 a year. So overall, this one is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next is going to be an operations monitoring specialist. And this is basically somebody who monitors the operations of a business in the middle of the night. So you'd be looking at operational dashboards and making sure that customer support issues are taken care of. And in this position, you'd make about $46,000 a year. Doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Relatively easy to get into. And there's lots of opportunities for nighttime work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of somebody else who might enjoy the video as well, or you just wanna share it with them so you can get their opinion on it, go ahead and share it with them. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, or someone who just needs help getting a job. Just go ahead and send this video to them. Next is going to be an on-call program specialist. So this is someone who is going to be providing usually mental health related support to people in the middle of the night. So they're particularly focused on aiding at-risk youth and their communities. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $48,000 a year. So this is another one that is relatively easy to get into. It does require some training, but a lot of the time the company will be the one who provides that training. But because of the fact that it's a little bit harder to get into than some of the other ones on the list and it doesn't pay all that well, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into D tier. Next is going to be a deposit operations analyst. And this is a person who's going to be working in banking. And basically their job is to update details, ensure documents are up to scratch, manage discrepancies, and essentially keep the deposit world spinning all while handling the pressures of regulatory demands. And in this position, you'd make about $65,000 a year. Now, a lot of the time companies are going to want someone with a bachelor's degree in this position, but usually they don't care what bachelor's degree you have. And in some cases, they don't require a degree at all. And in most cases, they do not require previous experience. So because of the fact that this one's a bit harder to get into, I'm going to go ahead and put it into D tier. Next is going to be a night auditor. And this is someone who's responsible for auditing financial records in the middle of the night. And they typically get paid about $38,000 a year. Now that's a bit low. And in some cases, they actually prefer people that have a college degree, although it's not necessary usually. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put this one into F tier. By the way, if you haven't done already, what are you thinking? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos because I've got some amazing ones coming down the line. Next is going to be a customer experience agent. And they're basically the unsung hero working at companies because they're the ones responsible for making sure that every single customer interaction with the company is nothing short of delightful. And it pays about $42,000 a year. And as you can imagine, there are lots of opportunities for this in the middle of the night. And you don't need a college degree or previous experience. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is going to be a reservation specialist. This is your go-to person if you're going to be booking a flight or a hotel room or you need a meeting place secured. And reservation specialists make about $48,000 a year. So this is another pretty good one. As you can imagine, if someone is flying over the world, they're going to need people who are working in the middle of the night. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is going to be a nighttime editor. And this is someone who is responsible for the final layout of some type of content. Usually it's going to be a newspaper, a magazine, or a digital publication. And a lot of the time, this is timely content. So it might be news that happened the day before or during that night, and it needs to come out first thing in the morning. Now they make about $49,000 a year, and it's relatively easy to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is going to be an overnight care advocate. And this is someone who provides care and support to clients or members overnight. And this is typically, of course, going to be in the healthcare field. They make about $41,000 a year. Year, it is relatively easy to get into. However, they do prefer people who have backgrounds in either customer service, healthcare, or human services. And so for that reason, because it's a bit harder to get into, I'm going to go ahead and put this one into F tier. Next is going to be a medical scribe, and they play a critical support role for healthcare providers. Basically, what they do is they use advanced technology to create concise and accurate medical summaries, including patient histories, exams, and treatment plans, allowing doctors to focus on patient care rather than spending the entire appointment just typing things into their computer, which I'm sure we've all experienced in the US healthcare system. And medical scribes earn an average of about $43,000 a year. Now this one is absolutely phenomenal if you want to work in the healthcare industry later on down the line. And it's super easy 
to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. In fact, many of my friends when I was going down the medical route actually got this as their very first job. And in this job, you are gonna learn so much about the healthcare system. So I know it doesn't pay all that well, but honestly, it's super easy to get into and it's gonna give you great experience. So I'm gonna put this one into A tier. Next is going to be an after hours coordinator. And this is someone who provides essential third shift support to clients and caregivers, handling inquiries, and ensuring smooth operations during nighttime hours. And of course, this would be somebody who's working in the healthcare industry. So in this role, you'd be a little bit more focused on actually helping other healthcare professionals, and they make about $43,000 a year. So another pretty good one, I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is going to be a case manager. This is another role where you're gonna be providing critical support to caregivers during the night shift. And this usually involves things like providing personalized plans and guidance, as well as giving caregivers support. And case managers earn about $50,000 a year. Now, this is another one relatively easy to get into, typically does not require a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next on the list is going to be a bilingual telephone interviewer. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's very similar to the translator, but you're going to be doing telephone interviewers and you are going to know multiple different languages. So for instance, you might know English and Spanish really well. And you can work in many different industries. One of them, of course, would be healthcare. Another one might be legal. And oftentimes, these conversations do have to happen in the middle of the night. And in this position, you'd make about $43,000 a year. So of course, you do have to be bilingual. So that's going to eliminate a lot of people watching this video. And it's better to be bilingual in certain languages. But with that being said, if you are bilingual and you know certain languages, this could be a great option for you. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into D tier. Next is going to be a ghost writer. So this is basically where you help a real writer and you're actually doing a significant amount of the writing for them, but then it's going to actually be published in their name. So for instance, you might work with a chef and you help them publish a cookbook and it might be based off of stuff that they like to make, but you're the one who actually writes it for them. And there's honestly like a million other examples of ghost writers. There's lots of novel writers, for instance, that are extremely well known and they use many different ghost writers to help them write their novels more quickly. So ghost writers on average earn about $54,000 a year. You do have to be highly skilled at writing. So you can get into it without a college degree or previous experience, but you do have to have the skill. And there's certain types of ghost writing that are much, much more lucrative than others. One of my favorites, for instance, is Twitter ghost writing. Now, as with many different types of writing, you need to pick a niche. It's absolutely essential that you pick a niche because you have to be an expert on that niche when you write about it. If you are not an expert on the niche that you are writing about, people who actually are experts are going to immediately recognize that you don't know what you're talking about. So it is absolutely essential that you pick a niche. So overall, I really like this one. I think there's a ton of opportunity in it, especially if you find the right niche. I'm going to put this one into A tier. Next is going to be a script writer. So this is where you'd be helping people to write content. Now, the most well-known version of a script writer would be someone who works for a movie or a show. However, there's lots of opportunities for script writers on platforms like YouTube, for instance, now. And script writers earn on average about $89,000 a year. I know a ton of different YouTubers out there that look for script writers and people that could help them to make good content, and they're just not able to find anybody because this is not one of those careers that's easily defined, right? There's no infrastructure in this career. However, if you're someone who spends a lot of time on YouTube, you probably have a sixth sense for what makes a good YouTube video, and you could help out one of your favorite YouTube channels. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into S tier status because I think it's an amazing career. All right, next one is going to be a desktop administrator. And they basically manage and maintain computer systems within organizations, ensuring smooth operations and efficiency in a nocturnal setting, right? So organizations need to make sure that their computer systems are up and running even in the middle of the night. And so they have to have people who are there in case anything happens. And desktop administrators make about $75,000 a year. So this one is very easy to get into. Some organizations will require a college degree or previous experience, but many of them actually don't. If you can showcase that you are technically savvy, they will get you in there without a college degree or previous experience. So I really, really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into A tier. Very similar to that one is going to be a support engineer. So this is kind of 
similar, but you're going to be a little bit more of a customer service type role. So basically support engineers design and maintain computer systems, providing ongoing assistance for system functionality and user satisfaction. So very similar role, just a little bit different when it comes to the technical skills that you have to know. And it pays around 63 to $106,000 a year. Now this one is typically a little bit higher level than desktop administrator. So it's going to be a bit harder to get into. So you'd probably start off at like IT help desk or maybe desktop administrator, and then you'd move into this role. So this one is also really good. I'm also going to put it into a tier, although like I said, it's going to be harder to get into, but it does make sense if you start off at one of those other roles that I talked about. Next is going to be a sports trading analyst. So this one is going to be all about monitoring sports to make informed decisions when it comes to sports betting. And basically you're going to be specializing in using your sports knowledge combined with analytics to make money using data analysis. And sports trading analysts make between 46 and $81,000 a year. So this could be a great one if you're passionate about sports. However, you also do have to have an extremely high level of knowledge and skill. You don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into it, but you do have to know your stuff and you have to be very good at your job or else you won't have your job for very long. So for those reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier just because I don't think it would work out for most people watching this video. Next is going to be a tax preparer. And this is basically a position that involves assisting individuals and businesses in organizing and filing taxes to ensure compliance with tax laws. It's a financial service that helps clients navigate complex tax codes typically conducted from home and at night. So basically you're gonna be preparing different tax related documents in the middle of the night so that they're ready for the accountant or the bookkeeper the next day. And in this role, you'd make about 42 to $64,000 a year. So this one is actually really easy to get into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. You do need some training, but typically they will provide the training for you or there's certificates and certifications out there that are easily accessible. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is going to be a data entry clerk. As you can imagine, data entry can be extremely mind numbing. However, it is still relatively easy to get into. A lot of people think this is going to be completely automated by AI. And although many aspects of it have been automated, it still does require a human being to double check it and do some of the work at the end of the day. And you are making between 34 and $47,000 a year. So this is definitely not one of the best ones on the list. I think one of the main reasons why it's so bad is there's not that many positions you can move into. It's kind of a dead end job. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into F tier. Next is going to be a donor eligibility coordinator. And this is basically a position where you ensure that potential donors meet health and eligibility criteria for contributing to life-saving causes. So basically you're ensuring the well-being of both the donor and the recipient. And in this position, you'd earn between 43 and $68,000 a year. So this is another one of those many health related jobs that are relatively easy to get into. A lot of the time they don't require a college degree and they pay relatively well and they're extremely stable. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into B tier. All right, I'm going to speed up on this because there's still a lot of them on this list. Uh, Facebook ad specialist. Everyone knows what Facebook ads are. If you've been on Facebook, you've probably seen the ads. And I'd say just ad specialists in general fall under this category. They make about $48,000 a year. Other ad specialists can make even more than that. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is going to be sales assistance. This is an integral part of the sales team. They manage inquiries, process orders, and ensure smooth operations during late night sales activities, and they make about $46,000 a year. So relatively easy to get into, can also lead to higher level sales roles. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is going to be a solar lead generator. So the solar industry is absolutely popping off right now. There's tons of money in solar, and there are people who are responsible for generating leads when it comes to installing solar equipment. And if you're a good lead generator, you can make a ton of money. So for instance, they make about 56 to $94,000 a year. So lots of opportunities here. I'm going to put this one into A tier. Next is going to be a telehealth assistant. Basically, you'd be doing interviews with people over iPads or maybe over a computer or maybe in some cases over a phone, and you would be bridging the internet gap between patients and healthcare providers. So telehealth absolutely blew up during the pandemic. It got much more popular for obvious reasons, and they make about $36,000 to $50,000 a year. So this is another pretty good one. I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is going to be a product support technician. So this is basically a customer service role, but you're going to be specializing in a 
particular product, so you may have to have some technical abilities. They make about forty-eight to seventy-two thousand dollars a year. Relatively easy to get into. Very similar to IT help desk, for instance. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into S tier. Next is patient tech support specialist. This one kind of combines like a care specialist, you know, a customer support specialist that works in healthcare with an IT help desk type of role. So basically, you have to understand healthcare, but you also have to understand the technical or software side of healthcare. And they make about forty to sixty thousand dollars a year, so it's more than a customer support specialist. So I'll go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is a criminal data processor, and basically they're going to be analyzing criminal and civil records for accuracy. They're often employed by legal firms, background check companies, or government agencies. They typically make about thirty-nine to sixty-one thousand dollars a year. It's relatively easy to get into. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Very similar is going to be a criminal records specialist. This is very similar to the last one, but they usually are more focused on the record keeping side of things. They make about thirty-eight to fifty-four thousand dollars a year, and I'm also going to put it into high C tier status. Next is going to be a content specialist. So I think there's so many opportunities when it comes to the content industry. Like content is basically taking over the world. People are spending more and more time viewing content. It's still at its infancy, in my opinion. I don't think it's being monetized anywhere near as well as it's going to be in the future. And in this position, you make about forty-seven to seventy-three thousand dollars a year. Highly recommend specializing in a particular type of content. But yeah, this one's really good. Very easy to get into. I'm going to put this one into S tier. Next is going to be an after hours scheduler. So this one is pretty obvious. A lot of the time you're going to be working in healthcare or maybe the transportation industry, and you're going to be scheduling things after hours. They make about forty to fifty-six thousand dollars a year. I'm going to put this one into D tier. Next is going to be a remote monitoring specialist. In this position, you're going to be analyzing patient data remotely and then informing anyone if something bad happens. And you'd expect to make about forty-one to fifty-nine thousand dollars a year. This is another really solid one. I'm going to put it into B tier. Next is a logistics specialist, very similar to some of the other logistics related careers. Basically, they oversee the supply chain, ensuring seamless movements across various different sectors like e-commerce, manufacturing, and retail. They make about forty-eight to seventy-four thousand dollars a year. Lots of opportunities for remote jobs at night. Very easy to get into. Typically, does not require a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to put this one into B tier. Next is going to be a mobile gaming community manager. This is someone who acts as a liaison between players of a game and the game developers. And this can actually be incredibly valuable because you do want to hear direct feedback from the players of the game. And they make about fifty-three to eighty-one thousand dollars a year. Now, one thing that you absolutely have to have is you need to be someone who plays the game yourself, and you're very familiar with gaming community. And there are a lot of opportunities for nighttime jobs in this role because a lot of people play video games at night. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is a remote lab dispatcher, and this is someone who oversees medical specimen logistics and orders remotely, managing cases for healthcare organizations, diagnostic centers, and labs without direct hands-on work. So in this position, you'd make about forty-one to fifty-eight thousand dollars a year. This is kind of a logistics role, but in the medical field, and a lot of the time, you're going to be moving around things where you need to take special precautions. Sometimes you might have to keep them cool. Sometimes they have to be in an airtight sealed bag. And yeah, it's another really solid medical-related career. I'm going to put this one into C tier. Next is going to be a remote. Pharmacy technician. This is where you would input data from different prescriptions that are coming into a pharmacy, but you'd be doing it remotely. And on top of that, you'd be handling any type of patient communication that happens. They make about thirty-five to forty-nine thousand dollars a year. They typically do require previous training. However, in many cases, the company will provide that training for you. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is going to be a media monitoring analyst. This is someone who literally just analyzes media coverage, and this is done to provide insight to crucial corporate decisions. Decision making, wielding media tools, and crafting search queries. And this is a very interesting position. And according to Glassdoor, they make about fifty-one to eighty-seven thousand dollars a year. Typically, do not need a college degree or previous experience. Although some companies may say that they require it. This one is extremely solid. I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Next is going to be a television captioner. This is a person who creates captions for things like TV programs, which makes audio accessible through written representation, benefiting the deaf and hard of hearing, and enhancing viewer experience. In noisy places, and they make about forty-two to seventy-five thousand dollars a year on average. Now you can imagine if some sort of news comes out, they don't have that much time to caption it on TV. So they would need someone who is ready to go right away. 
to caption that. And in many cases, they would need to work in the middle of the night because the news is gonna come out first thing in the morning. So this one is pretty solid. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next is a managing editor. Managing editors curate content for digital media, overseeing news portals and magazines to ensure and inform readers. So in many cases, you are gonna have to be up in the middle of the night because you need to be the person who basically finalizes something that comes out in a magazine or a newspaper. And in these types of cases, you're gonna make 67 to $109,000 a year. So really, really good money. One of my brothers actually got into this and he did not have a background in the news. However, he was willing to work in the middle of the night and so they accepted him. So you don't necessarily have to have previous experience or a college degree. However, different businesses will have their own requirements. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier overall. Next is going to be a media editor. And this is basically someone who curates vital news that happens at night. So very similar to some of the other roles that we talked about, they pay about 57 to $89,000 a year. You can kind of see a recurring theme here. People who are willing to stay up in the middle of the night can be incredibly valuable when it comes to stuff that has to be published first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is gonna be a financial services representative. This is someone who helps clients to choose things like suitable banking and investment products, and they're often employed by banks, credit unions, and investment firms. And they make about 51 to $71,000 a year. So as you can imagine, a lot of the time, clients are gonna be calling their banks in the middle of the night, and they're gonna need help with this type of thing. So this can be a pretty good one to get into. I'll go ahead and put it into B tier. Next is gonna be an associate business analyst. And this is someone who provides crucial insight into analyzing and enhancing business processes and operations using data. And they're found across many different sectors from tech to consulting to working for financial firms. And in this position, you'd make about 72 to $105,000 a year. Now, this is one where they are typically going to require a college degree or previous experience, although not in every case. And in many cases, you can get into a lower level role that does not require a college degree or previous experience, and then move into this one. However, you do need to know your stuff when it comes comes to data. So you're going to have to study things like SQL, and you're going to have to be incredibly knowledgeable when it comes to using Excel. So overall, because of the fact that this one's a bit harder to get into, I'm going to go ahead and put it into B tier, but it can still be a great option for the right person. By the way, if you like this video, I did make another video on 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.